Hi, I'm Anand. I'm a GPT-6 bot. <laughs> no, seriously, I'm one of the co-founders of Bitto, and we're excited for you to try out Bitto's AI to help you be a 10x developer or at least save an hour a day. Bitto is built using OpenAI and ChatGPT. It's like a developer Swiss army knife that can help you do so many things like explain code, generate comments, check for performance, and the list goes on. The goal here is to help you be more productive with fewer bugs. Let's quickly show you how it works. You can ask Bitto any freeform question in the Bitto panel. Let's ask it to generate code for bubble sort in Golang. As you can see, Bitto is generating code for bubble sort in Golang. Bitto also maintains context. So I can ask Bitto to rewrite the same piece of code in Node.js. Here, using the context, Bitto figured out that the code was provided for bubble sort in Golang, and now it's rewriting the same piece of code in Node.js. Bitto also provides a lot of shortcuts where we have tested out the best way to get you answers to things like explain code, generate comments, check for performance, and so on. To use Bitter shortcuts, select a piece of code. Here, I'm using Bitter shortcuts via the context menu, and I'm using the shortcut for clean code. Clean code removes debug statements from your code. As you can see, Bitter provided you with the code changes as well as opened up a diff view to clearly show you the changes so that you can keep what you want to keep. Bitter shortcuts can be accessed via context menu as well as keyboard shortcuts and via templates panel in the Bitter UI. Bitter also allows you to create your own template or shortcut using the new template button in the templates panel in the Bitter UI. Let me create a template or a shortcut to get explanation for code in Chinese. Here, let me write language is Chinese. Then explain code in brief. There you go, I've created my template or shortcut. Let me quickly select a piece of code and run my shortcut. There you go. You're getting the explanation for the selected piece of code in Chinese. In the Bitto panel, you can see the question, the answer, as well as shortcuts to regenerate the answer, copy it and share it so that you can quickly get to things that you want to do. The chat conversation that you're having with Bitto is also known as a session. And every session that you're having with Bitto is saved locally and can be accessed via the history button. I can go back to any session that I want at any given instance of time. Here, let me get back to the session that we are in, which is generate code for bubble sort in Golang. Bitto today is available in Visual Studio Code, JetBrains IDEs like IntelliJ, PyCharm, Golang, and so on. We also have a Chrome extension and a CLI. Let's quickly show you how the CLI works. If you have Bitto CLI installed, you can run Bitto CLI using the command Bitto. By default, it opens up a chat interface wherein you can ask it any freeform question. Let me ask it, for an aux CLI to some total last column in a CSV. There you go. You get the aux CLI that you can run along with the brief explanation. There are times when you want to automate things using a CLI and we do support running Bitto without the chat interface. To do so, create your prompt file. Like out here, I've created my docprompt.txt. 
wherein I have given my own prompt which is explain the code in markdown format. I save this file and this prompt is to generate explanation in markdown format for documentation. Now let me run it using Bito in non-chat mode. So I run Bito with minus P option after which I provide a file name which contains the instruction or prompt which is generate the explanation in markdown format and I want to do this for a particular file which I provide using minus F option. Say that I want to generate documentation for Bito AI.sh a shell script. So here Bito will run your prompt on the content of Bito AI.sh. There you go, you can see the documentation being generated in markdown format. I can redirect it to a markdown file like readme.md and I can also use this for automation to generate documentation for any piece of code that I've written. I can also run this as cat bito ai.sh pipe it to bito with minus p in my prompt file. There you go, that's all. Hope you enjoy.